Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Fish Market Academy, where we teach you how to fish for gains. So in today's video, we'll be exploring TorChain, where you can do cross-chain native swaps. So if you found this video useful, do remember to like and subscribe, and let's get started. So as always, nothing I say is financial advice. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration now. Okay. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is to actually have an XDeFi wallet. I'll put the link in the description below to download it. And you want to scroll down to BNB over here. So I'm assuming you buy your Rune on either FTX or Binance. They both have Rune. And you need to go into your BNB and find your BNB address. So click on receive and you will see your BNB address here. So copy this. So this is where you will send your Rune to. There is no need to put in any memo or tag because you are sending to XD5, which is a non-custodian wallet. So once you receive your rune or once you transfer it, you also need to send some BNB over as gas because it's being regarded as a BNB type token. So once you have a little bit of gas, right, you can go to Torswap and uh, just a note that on the XD5 wallet, you will not see your rune appear. So I actually have rune, but it's not appearing here. But when I go into the toss swap and I connect my wallet, so let me show how that's done. So I'm going to disconnect and connect my wallet and I'm going to connect XD5. And then after that, they will ask me to select chain. I'm just going to select rune and BNB and I'm going to connect. And then after that, they will go to my wallet will appear and you will see that I have some rune here. And then I'm just going to click on Max and Upgrade and you'll notice there is a transaction fee and it's in BNB. So you do need BNB as gas because you are coming from the BNB ecosystem. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Upgrade and it's going to take just a short while. I just need to sign this message. So in just a few seconds, it actually finished upgrading and now I actually check my wallet again and you'll see that I have rune over here. This is still showing the old value, so I think there's a bit of a lag. Let me just refresh. Okay, so I refreshed it and the figures are now correct. So I have upgraded a few of my rune into native rune. So BEP2 rune is kind of useless and what you really need is native rune in order to interact with the ecosystem. So let's take a look at and see how it is to actually do some swaps. So let's say I have BNB and I want to provide some liquidity for the BNB rune. So I'm going to click on liquidity for BNB. And then afterwards, BNB rune will appear. And then I'm going to click on max for native. And because I'm on BNB plus rune, I'm kept to the amount of BNB I have, which is really not a lot. But if I go with rune, then you will see that I can actually go with a much higher amount. So I don't want to do BNB and rune. I'm going to swap it out to something a bit of a higher APY. Let's go with BTC. So I'm going to click in and then I'm going to wait for it to appear and then go to rune and then I'll add a bit of my rune and then you'll see that my fee is actually in rune. But if I go to BTC, you'll see that my fee is in BTC. So it's quite interesting how it works. This is because when I'm depositing rune, it's an inbound transaction. So my rune is being sent to the Tor chain and therefore I need to pay rune fees. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some fees just to see how this whole thing works. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some liquidity just to show how this whole thing works. Okay, so in a few seconds, I've added some rune liquidity and you can actually see my liquidity inside here. You, you will see that I actually do have some of this rune LP. But because I deposited rune only, when I withdraw, I'm only going to be able to withdraw rune only. So that's something to take note. Now let's try to do a swap. So I'm going to go over to the swap and then over here, I want to swap rune into BTC. So I'm just going to do a little bit and then after that I'm going to swap to BTC. So let's try swapping from Rune to BTC and see how that goes. So note that I don't have any BTC and they do say that there is some network fee in BTC that is required and let's see if this goes through. 
So now I'm doing a swap from Rune into BTC, and over here you see the transaction fee is in Rune, and although there's a network fee in BTC, uh, I don't think uh, I'll be paying any BTC because I have no BTC. And what it, what's going to happen is in the background, they will convert the Rune that I am depositing in and then use that as the BTC fees. So it's quite convenient in that sense. So with that, uh, that's the end of the demonstration. Hope you guys found it useful. And remember the wallet that I'm using is XDeFi, which is a pretty good wallet similar to MetaMask, but they allow for many chains to be integrated. So I hope you guys found this video useful and do remember to like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye! Baby, fish